Or is make sure you please go ahead and follow everything that is House of 3000 and Subtip Channel if you can because we have such good games here. Everybody's great, including these two right now. We have Zane the Duck Hunt versus the one of our biggest threats in Connecticut as well, Phantom. This is easily one of the biggest issues for somebody to fight today because Phantom has not only been improving incredibly with this Myth of Pyro that uh, he also has the Palu, mm -hmm. but when it comes to Zane, they are just so talented with this duck on. That is not an easy yes. thing to put to like it, like both parts in a sentence. And honestly, Zane plays a lot of characters playing some Mega Man in bracket. Yesterday, Waypoint Warriors playing some Sephiroth. Been known for sort of jumping around characters a lot. Um, and he's really good with all of them. Duck yeah. Hunt, we see a lot of very strategic, very like big brain play, honestly. Yeah, and when it comes to like when it comes to Duck Hunt too, some, one of the things that uh, Phantom actually was talking about on the way here was the fact that Mithra combos don't work perfectly because his frame one can't. That is going mm. to be a bit of an issue. So what have we seen Phantom do so far? Get cooked by that mix-up. Yeah, <laughs> that, I've seen that combo from them a lot. The um, what is it? The frisbee can bounce off into up air. It's such a good confirm. Um, disc in general, really good for racking on some damage. A very scary tool. That al that almost ripped off the platform. I would have been mad. Yeah. Like, the, I, the first hit was there. Like it, it caught that little bit there. But look at the way Zane has started. They, they, they've really done an excellent job slowing this down. If that up air hit, that was it. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, you forced the air dodge right there or the switch. Mm -hmm. And that's such a good thing about can as a resource, right? You don't really need to commit, uh, commit to anything else when you're doing it. Wow, hard call out on the down smash. Yeah, that was a heavy call out. Like the patience from both of them, you don't expect the down smash in that position. It's laggy if you get if you miss or they or they're able to get the roll on, mm -hmm. you're dead. So good good call from Phantom. Yep, and it looks like uh, Zane. They've got a, the setup there with the down throw to mess up the di chased over that, but didn't quite get a kill off of that one. All right, Phantom swinging to get back to mid stage. Yeah, the Sheik bread and butters, so to speak, just uh, getting those quick damage. But the thing is, even though the damage is not heavy, your opponent's not playing the game. The frame data is so good in Mithra's favor that they're so like strong at slowing things up. Like 188 mm percent. -hmm. Like I, I think we're getting close to where even a Duck Hunt throw might KO at this point. Yeah, Duck Hunt. Um if you can't get the setups for the kill options, it's actually a little lacking on that one. Smash attacks are a slower end. Uh, the back air is good, the up air is good, but oftentimes if you want to reach those, you got to set up or condition your opponent into them. Kind of hard to just run up and do it. I like what Zane just did a second ago too. They w they went right up against the shield. Hey, Untackables will do it for you. 200 plus finally finds a kill. But mm -hmm. they walked right up next to Phantom with the can and put shield up. So what are you forced to do? Your body blocked. You either roll into can, you jump into can, or you get hit by can because you you're and if you roll by, pretty reactable for Zane in that spot. Mm -hmm. Goes for the disc on the tech chase on that one, but Phantom tech rolling in, smart call. All right, so one thing that can be a bit rough is this recovery. If Phantom gets caught poking uh, his head just a little bit above ledge, it's gonna be pretty easy to hard call that with a possible forward smash or down air. So let's see if Zane decides to go for it this time. Mm -hmm. All right, going for a little bit of ledge trap. The fade away Nair, very safe option to try to catch an aggressive jump forward. To try that will profiles. To yeah, that death attack? Yeah, that just low profile under. Man, you know what? This is a <laughs> miserable time for, for, for Duck Hunt players. Oh. Going really far on that Becker, trying to call oh. out a uh, further fadeaway. Very nice. Cam yeah. going up. Oh, oh my the gosh, trap. it's so tricky. Oh, they, and tried to put the follow-up up, gets the follow-up. Anyways, nobody knew where anybody was. Phantom <laughs> is dead, and Zane gets the lead back. Yep. All right, this is a good place to be. Taking the corner here, not in any rush. Just looking for some extra damage. I think Fate. not any rush is a key, too. You need to just slow rack up because of that. Mm. Like, it, it, at any point, you're living on borrow time. Mithra oh, is going to snipe you off. Hey, you know, yeah. we talked about mental game earlier. Just do it. Mm -hmm. if, if you successfully get into somebody's head, that's a W right there. Mm -hmm, exactly. Call in Rex and... Oh, my God, Rex's that's voice. That's the best that Rex is allowed to do. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> you're I'm doing not great. in the game. <laughs> No, 0-2 and today, you got this. You know who else in, uh, isn't in the game? Dante, rest in peace. So, uh, right now, that Flame Nova, very good at ledge. This game is so even right now. Like, mm -hmm. credit where credit's due with how good, that was almost an excellent ledge trap yeah, if the roll call happened. Yeah, and you see the dash attack low profiling under the disc on that one. Very strong response. All right. Oh. They're actually getting them out, getting them out on that read. Very nice. I kind of like that too because with the can in that spot, you either cover neutral get up or you take the hit from the can and you don't die. You don't get punished hard because at most you're getting knocked away. That was actually some good intentional, like almost like intentional damage taken. Mm -hmm. But still, if you get back thrown or like set up from duck hunt right now, this this could be an edge guard away from a KO. 
Yep, and the scary thing about here too, we just saw Phantom go for it a little bit. Uh, mixing up even just simple stuff with Pyra. The forward tilt, the forward air. This character has a lot of kill power. Yeah, every straight hit is a KO, and they go forward majority of the time, but you're off stage, this is where you're weak. Forced to go high because of the gunman, the ledge trap coverage, and then tries to cover the jump, that should be it, no, he misses! Trades with the disc, yep, he's not, they're Zane not was there. so close, they just missed that up air. Now you're gonna be forced- The can, oh, eating oh. air dodge, that's it. I think that might have been a checkmate scenario. That I don't know what I don't know what else could happen in that spot. You got the reversal hit of the can, so it comes back to you. Mm -hmm. And the way that Zane controlled that, it's like, well, you either g get lucky and get a tech, or B, you don't die off the top. Otherwise, like, you just like the coverage was insane. Mm -hmm. Could we um could we see that last stock again? Because we had the can up there, we had the gunman at the side, we had Duck Hunt using the move that they were going to use. Air dodge is gone. Yeah, look at that coverage. There is no options there. If you go above ledge, you get either F tilted or forward smash. Uh, the gunman was covering potential jump early. And like you said, the air dodge was gone. So you can't get by that. You have to hope for a tech or just not dying. That was such good coverage. Mm -hmm. All right. Aggressive chase out on that one. 40% on Zane early on. Gonna toss out the can for some protection there. Manages to get back to center stage. Yeah, very smart getting that can out there when you did because no hitbox on your recovery. That's a pirate down there waiting to happen. <laughs> All right, tosses him back up. <gasps> Actually goes for it, yep. Occasionally it'll happen. You fall asleep at the wheel, especially on a character who doesn't have the most optimal recovery. You either jump early, you jump late, and Zane called it out hard. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, right? When you're playing against a character that does so well against ledge setup, not to say that Zane doesn't rep the edge guard because they definitely do, but it's very easy to go like, okay, what's the ledge trap going to be? I've got to mentally prepare for this because I'm going to have to deal with three separate mix-ups and the downers over here. Exactly. Game. You have to be looking literally three to four moves ahead at all times as a duck on player, whether it's on offense or defense. And so far, I mean, you, when you're getting chased out down by Mithra in these spots, it's not too bad, but if oh, you get hit... bad spot to be in. Oh, good air dodge timing. Mm -hmm, very nice. Actually went for the down air on that one to really seal it. Big oh, punish. This is, yep, this is some good damage. Actually, not nearly as much as I thought, but still, like, just getting put in that tech chase situation because Phantom didn't tech. Yep. Phantom waiting super long on that tech chase, by the way. Opted to not do anything and just land. No teching on the land, no air dodge in the middle of the air, just land. And I also see partially why we're seeing this stage out of Phantom too. We just saw that if you have no hitbox, you have no can, reverse flame Nova will prevent you from teching. You're always going to the right, so that's really good as a drop down option. Mm. All right. A little bit of pressure on the ledge here. That is what Oh, you just died at really? 63 to Mithra! That's just... Damn! I, I don't this know what else to no say. Power. On Yoshi's, yes, they do. And that's like this is why this is one of the few good stages for like Mithra in terms of KOing because not only is Lightning Buster good, Fort Smash is viable, and now we just saw apparently up here too. <laughs> okay. And we see Zane working their way back onto the stage with the can over here. And even during combos, when Zane's getting carried across the stage, you still see that can following in. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. I have to have this as my reversal because I can't pull it out the pocket anymore. It's already in play. Yep, and speaking of reversals too, like after that first early lead, that KO off the top might literally snatch this game away from Zane because of the way that they were playing early. But now look at this big deficit, barely, on, barely any damage recently on him. Oh, that... That F2 was so close to hitting, that might have been a KO. That, yes, that slant might have just gotten Zane that stock, and now it's definitely possible to bring this back. Mithra and Pyra, uh, Pyra actually a decent amount heavier, but Mithra a little bit on the squishier side. We'll see what Zane can get done here. <laughs> nice. Okay. That was just the auto parry, dude. That was at yeah, least two was, or three separate parries. Yeah, yo, out here looking like that Evo moment. It, now, here's the thing, though, that Evo moment, they won that match. Can you run this back? I don't know. These up airs are looking uh, good. The jump is gone. Part. Yep. Very nice air dodge through. Getting back to center stage. All right. That's the trade. Can is still in play. Gets back. This is so scary right now because of can being on deck. You cannot over, like, you can't overextend. Nair out of shield. Not going to do it. I'm holding my breath every time it happens. <gasps> oh, what a catch. Pulled it out at the last second. We haven't seen Phantom go for that as a tech chase option on the platform or a tech read at all yet, and decides to do it at the very end. That worked out. How are you feeling about game three? I don't know where to put, I don't know who to like put a point on here. This is, so I do think that Phantom came in clutch with uh, the stock take on the top platform. There. Agreed. I was very aware. Um, but I think Zane equally, they're looking for a lot of opportunities to get stuff done the down there. To take the stock very early on, did a lot of work as well. 
Um, so I think we're seeing a lot of general matchup play here with the occasional hard read of, okay, I need to make something happen. I can't deal with this character anymore from both sides. Like, I can't deal with Duck Hunt Sonic. I can't deal with Mithra just getting in my face and doing whatever she wants. I have to get away from this character or close to this character. It's good, beautiful overall gameplay from both as we see a not so beautiful stage. We're going in Lilat, mm -hmm. but right now this stage, pretty solid in terms of actual <laughs> no, <laughs> but as we you know as we go here, um, one of the things that does work for Duck Hunt is the consistent ability to get more traps. It's also a good combo game for Mithra, but I think this is going to work out incredibly well for Zane. Mm -hmm. Looking pretty good so far. Still got those platforms that Phantom can shark through, but Duck Hunt can shark as well. Oh, oh Arclaw with the up smash, very nice, and actually ate the can too. Yeah, that worked. I mean, you're in the right position. You get the trade there. Beautiful for you. Oh. Oh, that air dodge oh. coming through clutch, lasting just a little bit longer than uh, some others. I know they changed it in the last batch. I don't remember how many frames, but mm -hmm. that air dodge could have easily led to a KO. Zane just waited an extra second. All right. Getting some nice extra credit now, sitting in a duck hunt ledge trap. Actually uses foresight to get out of that one. Back air goes over Mithra's head. I almost think that was the angle of where Mithra was standing on that platform. It looked like Mithra was slightly under, so mm -hmm. just barely missed that bear out of shield, because I'm pretty sure that hits every time. <laughs> The angle giveth and the angle taketh away. <laughs> oh, untackable off the side. Very nice. Lilac giveth, Lilac taketh away. They had nothing to do with Lilac at all. I just wanted to throw some shots at it. But <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, and you know what? I love the way Zane constantly has a can in position on shield on a platform because it prevents any overextension or jumps on the platform from uh, Phantom. It forces them to stay underneath the platform. Mm -hmm. Oh! Right, if you've got a big disjoint, you don't even need to care, though. Just... Shoot him with the melee mark down air. Oh, 66 percent yeah, off of that! If you if you get the right connection with the disc, you get a lot of damage. Oh, this is good too. Nice chase on that one. And disc so active as well. Seeing Phantom still get clipped by that even at the very end of the move. Great job pressuring Phantom to not move. You literally, because Phantom could die. Pretty much everything. 155. Look, like Zane is taking. All right, finally got hit, but it's taking barely any damage on this last stock. Zane's ability to just completely change the tempo of this game is incredible. This Phantom was running away with it, and now it just died and we're down the last stock. Mm -hmm. That Nair bounce off the can was crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that. All right, uh -oh. that's another thing. Disc, very good for trades. Doesn't go away if Duck Hunt is here, and it lingers for a very long time. Oh, tried to catch a spot dodge read right there with another one. Trying to look for big damage. Ray of Punishment, though. Pretty consistent bread and butter. Can you find your way back down to the stage, though, is the mini game you're stuck with right now. <laughs> Getting back on. This is some more damage off of Clay Pigeon. All forced into the grab. Got to take that damage. Almost catches the air, or like early recovery down. But this is Pyro time. This is pretty much an even game between these percents. The can chasing. Oh, no. You saw Zane try to call out the jump in that spot, especially after getting the grab the last few times. Mm -hmm. And now you're forced to stick on Pyro. You take the can after the shield just holds through. I'm smashing, you're gonna do it. Whoa, what was that what? Box? Okay, very good trap on that one. Zane uh, getting the air dodge out of Phantom, not quite finding the down air, but very smart call. All right, yeah. actually with the top half of the up B hitbox, they're hitting the can away. That's also very nice to have. Yeah, oh, that can should do it. Yep, mm. the trade is in favor of Zayn. I was just about to bring up the fact that it's going to be kind of stressful from this point because you really can't go to Pyra safely uh, because at the speed that she doesn't represent, you're going to probably get knocked away from all these zoning attempts, so you're forced to stay with Mithra. Mm -hmm. KO options are not as strong. Yeah, and not only that, um, you have the lowered movement of Pyra, but you also have the bigger disjoint, and it's very tempting with a percent like that, whereas we saw 